Hallelujah. Amen. Take me to the Holy of Holies. Take me to the Holies of Holies. Holy of Holies. Amen. I will continue the teaching. Twelve fruits on the tree of life. Today we are picking the second one. I'm going to use Jesus as the last Adam. How he ate the twelve fruit. How he ate the twelve show, the twelve bread on the show bread. Because he said, I will not eat it again with you until in the presence of my father, which means that he has 
eating it. Or you are eating them. Now, he's now giving what, passing what he has eaten to his disciples to eat so that he can start their whole journey. Mm -hmm. Let's close our eyes and pray. Father, we worship you. Give glory. Because you've given us, you've charged us, you've given us the bread you've eaten so that we can start eating and growing in wisdom and in stature. Oh Lord, help us. Oh Lord, speak to us. Open our eyes so that we can see the power and the strength in every bread that we are to take and eat in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to start this teaching with this scripture that the Spirit of God gave to Pastor Sophie. Ephesians 5.15 Let me start from 14. He said, Wherefore he said, Awake thou, the sleepest, and arise from the dead, Christ, and Christ shall give thee light. Amen. Can I have a pen here? Do you have an extra pen? God bless you. From verse 13, 14, 15, 16. Amen. Let me start from verse 13. Amen. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. Hmm. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. Amen. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper. Amen. Christ from the dead, and Christ shall Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Hmm. Making the most of every opportunity because the days are what? Evil. Evil. Amen. Mm. Mm. Now I discovered that the second food that or the second bread that Jesus ate mm -hmm. on the tree of life. When the Bible says the boy grew in wisdom and in stature, mm -hmm. if you have to uh, outline that tree, out, that fruit, that bread, to the twelve tribe of Israel, mm -hmm. we discover that the twelve, the second one, is called Simon. So. We are trying to explain what the second bread meant. Mm -hmm. uh, well, list it line by line with the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. So we are listing 12 fruits on the tree of life with this 12 bread on the show bread with the 12 tribe of Israel with the 12 stones mm -hmm. in the Bible. So the stone, uh, the second stone means what? Topaz. Topaz. T O P A Z. I want this teaching to be within 50 minutes. Amen. Because of time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Topaz, which means Simon. Simon. Amen. So the second fruit in the area of maturity mm -hmm. or the hills 
on the mountains of the Lord is what? Topaz. And the meaning of Topaz or the name of the, uh, the second name of the tribe of Israel that indicates Topaz is Simon. And that Simon means what? Aggressor. Aggressor. So I'm relating it to this Ephesians 5. Amen. 13, 14, 15, 16. He said, wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead. Wake up means be alert. Mm -hmm. Be at alert. Amen. You have to aggress in the spirit. You have to be what? Aggressive in the spirit. Amen. You have to rise up Amen. to the task. Amen. Like we said last Sunday, the first gate is what is called what? Ruben, the first. Ruben means the first, the beginning. Mm. That is the entrance. Entrance. Mm. So eating the first food that Jesus said, or the first bread. So let's turn that food to bread. Mm. So the first bread that Jesus said is called the first. Mm. We can see that, we can see that the, uh, the first always represent the powerful energy of everything that comes from first. Amen. You know, when you, when you all shut things out with fullness and power, mm -hmm. when light shines, shine with force. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So see that what that Ephesians was saying. He said, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doth make manifest is light. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wherefore he say, Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise. As wise. Redeem the time, mm -hmm. because the days are evil. Amen. So you have to be aggressive in spirit. Amen. You have to wake up and arise. Amen. You have to let your light shine. Amen. So you have a light in you, but it must shine. Amen. You have to uh, you have to what? You have to the, the energy, the fullness of God in you must come out. Amen. Must show forth. Mm -hmm. So Simon means the second bread that Jesus had. Amen. Which means what? Agree soul. Now what is about um, the spirit or the power? Of aggressive is is what? Is an energy, is, is an ability of God. Hallelujah. Is a spirit. Is a spirit in man. <laughs> like what Genesis 5 3 said, say, My spirit will not strive. Because my spirit will no longer strive with men. So what if, why? Because Genesis 5 or is this 6 3? Yes, 6 3. My spirit will not contain with human forever because they are mortal. Hallelujah. Amen. But in this verse, he's telling us that man is walking in the path of immortal. So the 
Part, the purpose of the spirit is to contain, is to push, is to uh, strive, is to move you to start walking. So man is made up in the holy place. I discover that God never said man is spirit. He said there is a spirit in man. Check your Bible. You never see a verse that says man is spirit. But we have a verse that says there is spirit in man. Now, because God is spirit, and we always interpret spirit to become, to be image and likeness. Now, because God created man in his image and likeness, we always end up to say man is spirit. But the Bible says, there is spirit in man. So man means image and likeness. But man doesn't mean spirit. Man means image and likeness. Image means will. Likeness means pleasure. Let's pick the word likeness from the root word called like. What are like? Is what give me pleasure. What I like is what pleases me. I like this thing because I have I'm pleased with it. So the image of God is the will of God. And that's why there is a spirit in man. Because spirit is a contender. Amen. Spirit strive. Mm. Now, if there is a spirit in man, the purpose of that spirit in man is to contend with the will of man. Mm -hmm. Is that? Philippians 2 that says, God is the one who is God is the one who will walk in you both to we are to do. Why? Because man means will mm -hmm. and pleasure. Amen. That is the definition of image and likeness. Now, God puts man in his own will because man means will and pleasure. Mm -hmm. Will means image. Why? Likeness means pleasure. So till now, man does, every man does whatever that pleases him. According to his will. According to his choice. According to his decision. So now, there is a spirit in man. Which spirit? God. And the purpose of that God in man is to strive with the will of man. Is to contend. Mm -hmm. He said, my will. Philippians 2, 13. He said, God is able. God is the one who will walk in you. Both to will and to do. Because the purpose of will is to do. When you have a will, when you have a decision, the house come of that your decision is to walk, is to act on something, is to function on something. So the purpose of who you are as man, your will, is the outcome of it 
The result of your will is to function on something. So man is not spirit. Hello? Man is not spirit. Man is will and pleasure. That is what, that is the definition of man. And that's why we, yeah, that is why two trees, <laughs> two trees are what? In the garden. So when the last Adam came, The will of God, Christ, was in him. But the will of the world, or let me say, he was now in a physical realm where he's full of the pleasures of the world. So there are contentions. Amen. There are something to fight with. So there is a spirit in Christ or in Jesus. Christ is in Jesus. So there is Christ in Jesus. There is a spirit of God in Jesus. Why? Right? Because Jesus also had his will. And the outcome of his will is to function on what that pleases him. Amen. He has things that pleases him. But you will, can, you will see or you can see or you can perceive with me that when he said my food <coughs> is to do the will of my father and to finish it, there was a war within him. There were battles he was battling with within his thoughts when he said that word. Because him and his disciples they were walking and he was hungry and he sent them, on an, he sent them out to go and look for food. So at the time he sent the house to go and look for food, that he saw the woman beside the well. Instantly he swept into the realm of the spirit. Amen. And when the disciple came and saw that, saw the woman beside him, they were thinking, who gave this woman permission to talk to, to talk with him? At that time, you will see that there you will perceive or to say with me that there was that thought. There was an open portals from the disciples because they were not in the spirit when they said that word. So when they were trying to Get him some thoughts. And as, and as that thought was coming, he told them, you people don't know that I have a food that must eat. And that is how to all of us today, sometimes we say we are I am not in the spirit. So the battle we are fighting, the reason we must be aggressive, the main reason we have to wake up every time is to fight. There's a battlefield in our mind. We are to fight with thoughts. 
We have to fight. See, where your internal mind or internal being is alive, it will affect everything around you. So the purpose of a spirit in man is to contain that spirit in man is the spirit of God. Is to contain with the will of this world. Wherever you are in this physical realm is full of the will of this world. So there is a spirit of God in man. And by this, the inspiration of the Almighty give that spirit in man understanding. The bread of life. The purpose is because you are to be made up in the garden. Amen. The task of the tree are to make you up. And how you be made up is through what? Prayers. Prayers. Meditation is also prayers. It's two way things. Meditation is asking questions from God. In talks. And God also will respond to you in talks. Prayer is Doing business with God, it was either you understand what you're saying or you don't understand what you're saying. It must be vocal, it must be audible. But meditation is in thoughts, prayer is in words, it must be vocal. Hallelujah. So man is made up in prayers and meditation. Let's go to that verse again. Ephesians 5, Henry, verse 15. Yes. Then that ye walk circumspectly, yeah. not as fools, but as wise. Okay. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time. Amen. Because everything around you is full of the will and the pleasures of the world. So the way to redeem the time every day. Is what is to pray. But they pray without ceasing. Amen. 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 Is to pray and what? And to meditate. Because meditation is also prayers. Prayers is also meditation. It's just that one is in vocal, mm -hmm. one is in thoughts. It means that is that the your purpose in 15 years. Now, use prayer to clear things so that you can redeem. Do you know what is called to redeem? To get things to your back to yourself, things you've lost. 
So man can only man. Let us make man. It means that man can only be made up by prayers. Mm. Let us make man initially. That was the declaring the end from the beginning. That was the purpose of God for man. Amen. 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 That was the purpose. Let us make man. Let us what? Make man. For he created man. He formed him. And he put him in the garden. So that he can be made up. Amen. So the second fruit. Or the tree. That the last Adam. That's the last Adam this time. Heads. The second branch. Is what what? <laughs> the second bread is what? Simon, which is what aggressor. To be aggressive. See the first the first food was when God announced him, "This is my son." In whom I am well pleased. And he entered where? The wilderness. So he takes what? He takes prayer and meditation to understand the training in the wilderness. All those tests. 40 days and 40 nights. Hmm. What do you think we do most times in 40 days and 40 nights? We pray and we fast. So for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus used prayers and meditation to conquer Temptations. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he was very aggressive. Amen. He knew that the task here, hey, man ought to pray and not to faint. Amen. So he redeemed. What he would have suffered. You can see God gave the Israelites 40 days. He said 40 days. But they were not praying or fasting. So they used 40 years. More money. So if you are not praying, you will more. more. If you are not praying, you will complain. Mm. You will have excuses. Mm. If you are not praying, you are not meditating mm. to grow in wisdom and stature. It takes prayers and meditations to grow. Mm. You will complain. You will have excuses. You will always see the past. You will not see the future where God is taking you to. You will not be built up to face the tempters, mm. the temptations around you, the pleasures of this world. They are already, already made up. Do you know what the Bible says? I like Romans 1 so much. Romans 1. Romans 
Romans 1 20. He said, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are plainly seen, being understood by what? By the things that are made. Let me read again. For the invisible things, the unseen things Amen. of God that were created are clearly seen. They became visible Amen. by things that were made. Amen. So, the first Adam that was created and formed. His potentials and abilities, works and purpose in the garden were not visible seen because he was not made up. Because what? He, he was not made up. So you and me in this world that is full of pleasures mm -hmm. that came from the will of this world mm -hmm. by came, that came from the cause of this world mm -hmm. you will not be made up unless you pray Fast and meditate. You will not be made up. Well, if I say you are, you came from the immortal. You are in the immortal. But let me tell you the truth today. Wherever you came from. We all know that all men came from the what? Especially the new created beings in Christ who came from Christ. Christ is what is called the immortal God. Now, Jesus the Christ is the immortal God as man. So he's still immortal man, Jesus. So what made Jesus hope on earth? To carry his cross and to fulfill his calling. His calling is to die and to what? To die like as us. Is to die like we died. So that as is rise, who we'll rise together with him. Amen. So his purpose was to die. The will of God in him. The pleasure of God concerning his life was for him to die. Carrying all of us. God made him who had no sin to become sin for us. So he died. And he became a porter. Have you ever seen the picture of a cross before? One leg out, one leg in. Holy Spirit was telling me two days ago, can you just picture a cross? I related to 1 Corinthians 1 13. He rescued him. He rescued him from the kingdom. One leg, one leg in. Mm. The left side of the cross mm -hmm. was into the kingdom, dominion of darkness. Mm. And the right side of the cross is to the kingdom of, of light. Amen. So that, we, so that the, 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 the cross, the vertical part of the cross become the door the gateway, the way 
I am the way. Amen. The truth and the life. Amen. No one can come to the Father. No one here can come to the Father except by me. Amen. I am the way. So the vertical part of that cross is the door. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's how every man in Christ mm -hmm. has become. Mm -hmm. We are portals. Mm -hmm. We are classes mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. We are all gates, channels. So until what? Until you allow the spirit in you, get the spirit in man, to contend, to strive, to, to submit, to put your own will under him. Mm -hmm. Then your gate, that will is a gate. Your gate could not align. With the way of God, which is the Son of God, Amen. you will not grow with that will of God. That's why Jesus said, I knock the door of your heart. So your will is the door, and you are that door. Man is image, man is a will. Man is likeness. Man is a person of himself. Man is a will of himself and a person of himself. But if you now, if you now open the door and you allow the one who made you, who created and formed you, to come in, give him access. Have you ever seen? Uh, um, gates, bigger gate that has smaller gate in within that within it. Before we have it a lot in Africa, we have bigger gates and we have smaller gates. So the bigger gates can be open widely for cars to come in, while the smaller gates can be open for man to enter. Mm. So if you can open your hearts, then I will hide with the will of God will come. We do your will. Mm. Mm. And I will come to dwell and apart and live with you. Amen. But you are the one to open. Give me the access. Give me the legs. Let me let me explore. Let me help you. There's a spirit in man. The spirit of God. There's a spirit of God in man. Hallelujah. Amen. He said what? I read this at close. For the visibility of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by, being understood means that they are clearly seen by what is being made up. Amen. So now, this phone was initially an idea that nobody can see. Mm -hmm. So when it's made up, it becomes clear. It's Clearly seen, it became visible. Originally, this spoke was invisible from God. Everything around you was once invisible. Amen. They became visible because they were made. So Jesus became the real immortal God. As man, because he was made up. In the garden. The garden is the holy place. He became a priest. 
And the purpose of a priest is what? A priest is to receive things from God and bring it to me. And you can see, Jesus was made up by prayers, meditations, and fasting. He was very aggressive. He had the second. That was the second. That was the first place Jesus, Jesus learned how to pray. It was in the wilderness. You can see throughout the time of Jesus in the middle of the day, Bible never recorded that he was for what he was. Bible never recorded that he murmured, complained, or give excuse. Give excuse in the midst of what? <coughs> Beside a uh, tempter, the Bible call him serpents, is more subtle than, than all the beasts of this world. That God has made. Say, be wise like a snake. Be gentle like a dove. Amen. So, to be wise like a snake. Ah! For you to know that the tempter, he ah, was very wise. So, you need prayers. To receive the inspiration of the Almighty. So that you can have the understanding of how to handle the things, the pleasures around you in the world. Man ought to pray and not to faint. Amen. Redeem the time because all days are. Amen. Close your eyes and let's pray. God, put your spirit of prayers in me. Put your spirit of meditations in me. Give me a power to be aggressive in this world that is full of evil. Amen. Switch me up. Ignite me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. to be aggressive in the spirit. Amen. Give me bodies. Amen. Let me have holy anger. So that I will know how to hit. And to drink. And to lay your cross. Amen. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, help me. Take me in to the hope. That was very powerful. God bless you. Wow. Amen. Take me to well, we will we are praying for the grace to have for God to give us the, the grace to be aggressive in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Take me to the holies of holies. Take me to the blood of the 